guys, it's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get this look. It is a Minnie Mouse inspired Halloween makeup tutorial and I really hope you guys enjoy this one. Hit that like button if you do. Let me know if you guys want me to do any more Halloween tutorials. This one was specifically requested by you guys. Oh, also my little ears, I did them myself too. It's a do-it-yourself project that's going to be in this video and I'll probably um, feature the ears first and then the makeup second. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Alright guys, so what you'll be needing is cardboard, ribbon, scissors, a sharpie, a headband, some paper, and felt. It's not pictured here, but you'll also need a hot glue gun. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be doing is making a pattern. So I'm using the back of my ribbon as a guide to draw this out with my sharpie and then go ahead and cut it with some scissors. Once you've got it all cut out, place it on top of your piece of cardboard and use your Sharpie to draw around this circular pattern shape that we cut out. We're actually going to be needing two of these, so make another drawing of this right above that one. The very last thing you have to draw is a bigger circle on a piece of felt. So now I'll go ahead and cut out everything you drew. These two cardboard circles are going to be placed inside of the ear to hold it up. And now we're going to work on the outside of the ears. And you want to fold two pieces of felt in half. Place the one that has the drawing of a big circle on the top. And then go ahead and cut them out. You can use a pin in the middle if you'd like to keep everything in place, but I just went ahead and cut it. So there you go. Now you have four felt circles and two cardboard circles. I'm pretty sure I just said circle like a million times. <laughs> but the next thing you want to do is glue the cardboard circles to the inside of the felt circles. So I'm just using my hot glue gun for this, placing one on top of the other with the cardboard circle in the center. All right, so the ears are complete, and now all you have to do is using your hot glue gun, just glue them to each side of your headband. Next, take some red and white polka dotted ribbon and tie into a bow. And then I cut the extra long pieces off at the end, folded the ends in and glued it, and then glued it to the back of the bow so that it made like two rounded thingamajingers on each side, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and then I glued that to the center of the headband. And that is it. Your headband Minnie Mouse ears are complete. super easy hairstyle, all I did was pin my bangs back over my headband, just with one pin. And I did the same thing on the other side, I just grabbed some bangs and brought them over the headband and pinned it in the back. And for the rest of my hair, I did it off camera, but I just curled it with a one inch clipless curling wand. We're going to start off with foundation. This is the Super BB Cream from Physicians Formula and I'm using the one in light which matches my skin tone pretty well but it is a tad bit lighter than my usual foundation that I would wear. I'm blending this in all over my face using a flat top kabuki brush. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to use a primer. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I'm just putting a little bit on my eyelids and then blending it in with my finger. This is going to hold the eyeshadows on the whole entire day so you don't have to worry about them coming off or creasing or anything like that. So now we're going to use a base before we use eyeshadows. This is from Origins and I believe it's in the color Coffee Bean, which is a really cute name. <laughs> and I'm using my fingertip to apply this starting from the lash line going up into the lid and also up into the crease. From the Naked palette, we're going to be using a few eyeshadows. The first one is Toasted, so with a 
blending brush, I'm going to be putting this in the very center of the lid. Using a pencil brush, we're going to take Smog from the Naked palette, which is a matte medium brown, and apply that to the very outer corner. I'm blending it out with my fingertip, but you can also use another blending brush. So now we're going to make the eyes pop a little bit more by using a pigment. This is from NYX. It's like a gold color. And to put it on, I just sprayed my finger with some Fix Plus. You can just use a little bit of water. And I dabbed it right onto the center of the lid. We're going to go in and darken up the lash line a little bit now. And to do that, I'm using my e.l.f. black eyeliner pencil. And I'm just focusing it on the very outer corners. Now using a liquid liner from Maybelline, this is Line Stiletto, I'm going to make a cat eye eyeliner and just really extend it far past your eyelid. And make sure to stay away from the inner corners of the eye. You want to coat your lashes with a little bit of mascara. We are going to be using falsies, but I'm just putting a little mascara on to make sure that they blend in better with the falsies. And fill in your eyebrows, you can do whatever technique you like to do for this. I'm just using Buck from the Naked Palette and a small angle brush. Moving on to the lower lash line now, finally. <laughs> We're going to be using NYX's Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And put that right in the very inner corner of the eye and bring it down just a smidge onto the lower lash line. This is really going to make the eyes pop in the inner corner. And to make sure it stays on, go ahead and use a eyeshadow that's very similar in color and just pat that right over top. Going back to that black eyeliner we used earlier, we're going to line our lower lash line with this. And make sure to keep it on the very outer corner. I'm only going in about halfway. And now I'm doing a layer of gel liner over top of that just to make it look really black and dark. I know the last thing you guys want is for your eyeliner to smear. I absolutely hate that too. So to make sure it doesn't do that, just go ahead and pat a little bit of black eyeshadow right over top. So this is the fun part where you can kind of get creative. We're going to use that pencil brush again and the same color Smog from the Naked palette. And we're going to brush this really lightly underneath of the black eyeliner we made in the very center of the lower lash line and then drag it to the inner corner. But make sure not to cover the white that we put down. You want to make sure it goes underneath of the white and this will really make everything stand out. It will be a a big contrast between the black on the outer corner and the white on the inner corner. Sorry if you just heard that my cat likes to open cabinets in the kitchen. <laughs> but this is what kind of gives that mousy looking effect to your eyes. And now it's time to finally put on the lashes. This is my favorite part. Not actually putting on the lashes, but seeing how it looks once it's all done. And I'm just using a little um, tweezer. Tweezer, is that right? Yeah, tweezer to put them on. It's the easiest way I found. And these are Katy Perry lashes in Cool Kitty. So that's it for the eyes. And then for the face, all I did was just use a little bit of powder on my nose, just like the T zone area, a little bit on my forehead, cheeks, chin. This bronzer right here is the bomb. You can tell I've used a lot of it. It's my absolute favorite, especially if you guys have pale skin like me. And I'm just putting this um, as a contour, like under the chin cheekbones, a little bit on the nose, kind of giving myself that sun-kissed look. For blush, I'll be using this really pretty shimmery pink one from Milani, and I believe the name is Luminoso. And of course, you can't have a Minnie Mouse look without drawing in her nose. First, you want to make a circular outline on the tip of your nose, and then go ahead and fill it in. I'm using a black eyeliner pencil. And then over top of that, I'm using a gel liner to give it that really shiny effect. And this part is completely optional, you don't have to do this, but I decided to make a little shine mark or a reflection of the light. So I'm using my jumbo pencil to make a tiny little dot in the very upper corner of the nose. I really wanted the white to stand out more, so I dabbed on a little bit of white cream makeup over top of it. We're almost done guys, I promise. The last thing you want to do is lips and I'm using a concealer to cover the very outer corners of my lips and a beauty blender to blend that in. And then I'm going to go in with a lip pencil. This is Max Soar. It's just a really pretty pink color and I'm outlining my lips in a heart shape and then I'm filling them in. 
I wanted my lips to be pink, I don't know why, but you can do them in red as well if you like. And this is my favorite lipstick right now by Flower called Petal Kiss. And I'm just putting that lipstick right over top of the lip liner. And again, I'm going back in with my jumbo pencil from NYX and making two little shine marks, one on the bottom of the lip and one on the top lip. And guess what guys, we are completely done with the Minnie Mouse transformation. I'm definitely going as Minnie Mouse for Halloween, so maybe some of you guys can do this too. and We can be matching, but let me know in the comments what you guys are going to be for Halloween this year. I would absolutely love to see if any of you tried this out. Please send me pictures on my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, anything like that. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my vlog channel and also this channel. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!